Welcome my friends, it's a pleasure to have you back here on Will EduTech. Now in this video, um, we're continuing in our edition on our CSEC exam pass paper questions and solutions. And we're on, now on the January 2012 paper. Now we're looking at question 2A in this video. And this question would, would fall under your general topic on the syllabus on, uh, under algebra, okay? But to be more specific, we are solving a pair of simultaneous equations. Now what I'll be doing in this video, I'm I'm going to be solving this pair of simultaneous equation by substitution okay the video that will be following this I'm going to so I'm going to answer the same question but I'm going to be solving the pair of simultaneous equation by using another method which is solving by elimination okay so you can look out for that watch that video and then you can choose which method you prefer okay whether by substitution or by elimination okay now quickly let's get into it uh, here we have have our two equations. In our first equation, we have 3x plus 2y is equal to 13, and I've labeled that equation number one. And in my and in the second equation, we have x minus 2y is equal to negative 1. And I've labeled that equation number 2. Now, when solving a pair of, a pair of simultaneous equation by substitution, uh, the first thing you want to do is to make a variable the subject, OK? And that simply is you're making the variable equal to some expression, OK? So let's just manipulate uh, equation number two why equation number two because when I look at equation number two I see x standing by itself okay if you notice um, when you have a letter standing by itself it's it's much easier to make um, that letter the subject rather than another another letter that has a coefficient in front of it and if you know to, the word coefficient means the number that is before the variable. So for example, the coefficient of x in equation 1 would be 3, the coefficient of y in equation 1 would be 2, and also the coefficient of y in equation 2 is negative 2. Okay, So that's what I mean by coefficient. But since the coefficient of x is 1, I'm going to make x a subject in equation 2. So quickly, let's just make a note. Make x. Okay, I'm going to state make x, make x the subject, the subject, subject in equation, equation number two. Okay, now in equation number two, what we have here, we have x minus 2y okay is equal to negative one so if I'm making X the subject what we we have to look at what um, 2y is doing to X and it's being subtracted so simply we have to do the opposite of subtraction which is addition to get the 2y on the other side so I'm going to say X minus 2y okay plus 2y because I have to do the opposite of subtraction so I have to add 2y to both sides to get it across okay and then I'm going to say negative 1 which I had there and the new thing that I've done here is to add a 2y so basically I have to do that to the other side of my equation now we all know that a 2y positive 2y will cancel out with a negative 2y therefore I have x is equal to negative 1 plus 2y okay my friends so there we have x x is the subject now so basically let me just split the screen here a bit now since i've made x the subject i am just therefore going to take what whatsoever x is and substitute it into the next equation so make let, let's make a note here quickly substitute substitute cute okay good x is equal to whatever we got for x here uh, x is equal to negative 1 plus 2y into and I'm putting that into equation equation 1 okay since we made it the subject in equation 2 it makes sense we're going to put it in the other equation okay so my equation 1 re reads 3x plus 2y so let's put it here so I have a 3x plus 2y and that is equal to 13 okay my friends now I'm going to remove x replace x and what I'm gonna be replacing it with is negative 1 plus 2y because what they're saying here if x is equal to that then I can say 
3 is multiplying negative 1 plus 2y okay and that must be I'm adding a 2y if you notice I have a 2y there so I have to put back that 2y okay so I'm adding 2y and then that is equal to 13 now basically what I'll be doing here we're just going to simply expand or remove this bracket so I'm going to use the 3 and I'm going to say 3 times negative 1 and that would give me a negative 3 so here I would have a negative 3 there okay and then I'm saying again my 3 times my 2y okay that's what I'm saying and 3 2's will give me a 6 so there I have a positive 6y okay so here I have a 6y and then I have a positive 2y there plus 2y and that must be equal to 13 okay so right away here we can go ahead and collect our like terms so we can say 6y plus a 2y so 6 plus 2 will give us a 8y I'm just collecting my like terms and I have a negative 3 okay and that is equal to 13 now if you notice 3 is being subtracted from 2y so to move the 3 across we must add 3 to both sides of our equation okay and that's a general principle whatsoever is happening you must do the opposite of that so I'm going to say 8y minus 3 and since I'm subtracting 3 I must add 3 to both sides of my equation plus 3 and that is equal to 13 plus 3 okay my friends now a negative 3 will cancel out with a positive 3 therefore I'm left with 8y must be equal to 13 plus 3 and that would give us a 16 okay my friends uh, let's just split the screen and finish it on the other side okay so now my friends we're left with 8 and let me just take this up 8y is equal to 16 so here we can simply solve for y since 8 is multiplying y we're going to do the opposite of multiplication which is to divide through both sides by 8 8 will cancel 8 therefore I'm left with my y is equal to 8 into itself goes once 8 into 16 goes two times so y is equal to 2 now what is really happening here now my friends basically we have found a value for y if you notice in our original equations we had equations in in x and y so since we have found one value for y we need the corresponding x value okay so what I'm gonna be doing now I'm going to say substitute 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 y equal to 2 since that's what we got for y into into equation equation 3 okay and if you notice here we made x oops I forgot to label that sorry about that this should be my equation number 3 okay my friends that's my equation 3 now substitute y equal to into equation 3 so we can simply say if x is equal to negative 1 plus 2y okay now we have a value for y we can then therefore say then that x must be equal to negative 1 plus 2 open bracket times 2 because y is now 2 we have found the value for y to be 2 so really we have x is equal to negative 1 and 2 twos will give us a positive 4 so we have a negative 1 plus 4 that's the same thing as saying 4 minus 1 okay so x is equal to 4 minus 1 which is 3 okay my friends and basically that's it now all we have to do is to state our answers let me just pull this up a bit so that we can have just a little bit more space okay so since we have arrived at our answers we can now then therefore state then that therefore x is equal to 3 when and y is equal to 2 and that's it that's how you solve a pair of simultaneous equations by substitutions feel hey guys uh, before we go I am just going to show you a little qu quick trick 
on how to check if your answers are correct okay here we had gotten x equal 3 and y is equal to 2 so sometimes when we work out our values we need to know if they are correct because sometimes we can make an error okay and this is just for confidence now okay my friends now if you notice in the original equation that they gave us okay they gave us 3x plus 2y and that is equal to 13 so what I'll be doing here and if you notice I just split the screen down here so I'm going to take my equation 1 first and I'm going to say 3x plus 2y and that must be equal to 13 okay now we had gotten our value for x and x is 3 so I'm going to say 3 open bracket because 3 is multiplying x so 3 times 3 and I'm just substituting my values okay guys and my y value I got 2 for y so I'm putting it back in and that is equal to 13 so I'm saying 3 threes will give me 9 plus 2 fours will 2 twos will give me a 4 and that is equal to well wow look what we have 9 plus 4 is equal to 13 okay so there we have it my equation number one is correct okay but please don't get happy and carried away because sometimes it works for one equation but it doesn't work for the next so both values when substituted in both equations it must work because I see I see this happens a lot of time in class with my students so quickly let's just look at the second one here now we have the second equation we had x and let me change my color quickly we had x minus 2y and that is equal to negative 1 now my x is 3 so I'm just substituting my values again 3 minus 2 and I am saying my y value is now 2 because we had the y value to be 2 over here and I am saying all of that must be equal to negative 1 now I'm taking down my 3 and a negative 2 outside here multiplied by the positive 2 will give me a negative 4 okay and that is equal to and if you check it a 3 minus 4 will give us back a negative 1 so there we go we have it our answers are correct because when both values are substituted in the original and please use it with the original don't use it with equation 3 um, we have gotten back our respective values okay so that's that was just a little trick to show you how you check yourself when working with simultaneous equations hope you found that helpful feel free to ask a question or make a comment if you're still not sure and we'll get back to you as soon as possible or you can even subscribe to the channel where you can get some of our latest updates bye bye